What is up everybody? I am here trying to teach you how to make a server for your mod pack that I taught you in another video. And we're going to use Hamachi for this. So yeah, let's get started. What you're first going to want to do is go to files.minecraftforge.net, which will be in the description. Pick the exact version of Forge that you have for your mod pack, which for me is 1.10.2, and then click Installer. After that, drag it to your desktop. Once you've done that, right click and click new folder then um, name it whatever you want I'm gonna click and type in Python second um, mod pack mod pack tutorial um, server once that is done you wanna right click the forge open with and then Java once that is done click install server Click the three little dots, go to desktop, and click the server that you just made. Then after that, click open, and then OK. Once that is done, just wait. And by the way, guys, while I'm waiting for this, I just really want to say something. My other videos, you know how I say uh, type in .jar at the end? Or like make sure it's .jar? Well, if you have this unchecked, and you type in .jar, it's going to be .jar .jar because the file extens a name extension shows the .jar towards me. Now, if you have it checked and you typed in .jar, perfect, and if you didn't, go fix that, please. So, yeah. Now, let's just wait, and then click OK. Now, what you can do is just delete that, and then let's focus on this folder. Once that is done, you're going to uh, want to rename this uh, forge, then go down until that little dash, and then go all the way until the next little dash, but don't erase that other one. I mean, you can just fix it if you do. But whatever. Then go in front of the name, uh, the word Forge, and then type in Minecraft. Once that is done, click New, Text Document, and then Run. Uh, type in Run One. Now open that. Paste this, uh, which I will have in the description as well. Save as. Uh, then all files, and then change the TXT to a bat. Then save, and close. And then now you should have this little dot bat area. Now you want to click that and just let this run. And now it's just going to load all this stuff. Um, once it's done it will tell you to click um, press any key um, and I normally press space. Once that is done we're going to go into eula.txt um, replace the false to a true right after you read the EULA of Mojang. Then you can um, uh, put it to truce. I've already done it because I've made so many things of these. Clo uh, save it and then close it, then make sure that you did. Once that is done, you want to reopen run1.bat. Now, uh, just for a little thing, don't click this thing. It might just stop working. Uh, that happened to me once and I got really upset and I had to restart my recording. Um, so, yeah. I'm uh, just waiting for this to finish. Um, once that is done, uh, you'll see like a little done thing at the end. It's 81, 90. Okay, so yeah. You'll see done instead of the percentages. Once that is done, you want to uh, type in stop into this little chat area and then it'll um, turn off your server um, successfully. And then now you want to open up server.properties. Scroll down, uh, you can change the MOTD. It's basically the text that's underneath uh, Minecraft, uh, whatever you named the Minecraft server. I'm going to name it the Python's um, mod pack server. Um, then what you're going to do is open up Hamachi, and now because I haven't created a server just for you guys, um, you're going to want to create a new server, and then I'm going to create an ID, um, the Python um, uh, mod pack server, or mod pack to real server 
And then I'm going to put in a little password. I'm not going to say it because I don't feel like saying it. And create. Once that is done, what you're going to want to do is right click um, on the top and then click copy IPv4. Make sure you uh, right click IPv4. Then go into the notepad and then right where it says server IP, paste what you just copied. Now I'm also going to quickly just edit one more thing uh, from the command block to true. And then now I want to make sure uh, to save it. Close it. Once that is done, uh, what you're going to want to do, because this is a mod uh, for mod packs, um, open up run by uh, Windows key and R, then do percent app data percent, and then OK. Uh, open up dot technic uh, mod packs, and then open up your mod pack, which is this one. Then you're going to want to go into mods and select the mods. Now, what you're uh, what you're going to want to do for this though. Is because I have Optifine and Minimap, that's only for your personal uh, things. Like, you'll be able to change all that yourself. You can't, like, really change anything like um, the controls and Lucky Blocks because there's not really anything. But, like, for Minimap and Optifine, there's controls and uh, it's your personal waypoints. Um, so, you're not going to copy those two. But you're going to only copy is Lucky Blocks. Well, that's only for me because um, I only need to copy that one mod. Now, I'm just going to quickly make sure I have both of those because you need both things to run this thing. Whoops, I accidentally closed it. Now, once you've finished all of this, you're going to want to reopen your run one and then open up your Technic Launcher and then open your Minecraft. Now, sometimes this takes a little bit. Depends on your computer, um, especially how much RAM you have and everything. Um, but I let this server take over uh, 5 megabytes max and 4 megabytes or sorry, 5 gigabytes max and 4 uh, gigabytes minimum of RAM from my computer. So that's a lot, um, and I only have 8 gigabytes in total, but I am I can still run it. I'm, a, I'm able to run it. So, yeah. And by the way, that's the thing that you put in. You can just change how many megabytes. The second number is the minimum, and then the first number is the maximum. So now what you're going to do is go to multiplayer, add a server, and then I'm going to rename it to um, tutorial server. And then server IP, just paste in um, the, where is it, the same IP address. Make sure it's the hosts. If you're, um, if you're trying to give this to the front, give them this, that number. And then now it's saying all my mods are presented, and now I can join it. And anybody else can join it. And um, by the way, guys, Hamachi is completely free, which is really cool. And so, yeah, now you have successfully made a modded server. Um, but uh, if you want to, I can show you how to make a normal server um, without mods, which is uh, slightly different which you'll definitely need Firefox for. So yeah. Now if you want to opt somebody, just type in that chat right here, then opt the Python gamer. And then there we go. Now I'm opt and I can go into game mode C. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. Um, and yeah. So I really hope this uh, video helped you guys and I hope it was pretty simple. And Post down in the comments if anything happened, and I'll try to help you as best as I can. If you really can't um, figure it out, um, uh, add me on Google+, and we'll talk in a private chat, and we can see if maybe I can talk to you on Skype, and we can figure it out. And that might just be helpful, because for some people, talking verbally rather than on a, that rather than a computer uh, typing, or, yeah, words, <laughs> um, it's just easier. So yeah, go ahead and like this video if this uh, video actually helped you, and um, only dislike this video if this really didn't help you, or of course if you just don't like me or anything like that, but I really appreciate it uh, if you like, uh, put a like down uh, there, and go ahead and subscribe if you actually like my content. So yeah, I hope you um, actually got this working. Peace!